Hello and welcome back to the penultimate episode of the UIM Progress series. Uh, this will be the last episode before the season finale. Uh, so we finished off last episode by getting our 70 construction. We got ourselves up to 72 magic, which we want to work on this episode to get up to at least 80, 82 preferably. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be doing Song of the Elves with the level 70 ice spells rather than the level 80 ones. So we'll definitely struggle there. Uh, main focus of this episode is going to be getting our herb lore up and finishing off mining. Uh, doing a little bit of wood cutting as well in the meantime. Uh, we are starting off with a good amount of seeds here. So we've got, at least got ourselves a little bit of a head start. Uh, we're going to at least do another another four or five hours of master farmer i'd say uh we'll try it out here while we're here quick look over the loot in the looting bag or the herbs in the looting bag anyway uh so we've not got a lot we've not got much banked at the minute as it stands so we'll definitely be thieving that this episode uh we also have the uim springo bingo uh so you will see a little banner across the screen starting from about halfway through for that so don't worry pay it no mind don't worry about it uh yeah so let's start off thieving here with 81 thieving uh it's not great here at the drain on market yes you can buy the wines but it's probably better to just get some fish from temperos like 50 points gets you a good amount we actually got ourselves a ton of water uh as well which didn't record but we got ourselves some fish from here. Uh, don't worry about the other uniques. I swear I'm not that spoon. Uh, we trade them in for some pages. We're going to keep the uh, Toma water anyway for the time being while we've got the extra bag space. Just because we can use it as an offhand for Song of the Elves. And it will count as water runes for the uh, ice spells because it's not a water spell. Uh, coming in with 82 and 83 thieving here. Uh, we did a lot, a lot of thieving simply just to get ready for Springo. And yeah, funnily enough, about 12 hours before the bingo started, we actually did get the thieving pet, which I'm absolutely buzzing with. Uh, recently just did 99 thieving on my old hardcore account and didn't get the pet, so I was very upset. Uh, I got about four on my main going to 99, so I guess it all evens out eventually. Um, but yeah, really, really happy uh, to get this just over 83 thieving. Uh, look at that, 2.8 mil. Uh, so let's go recolor it, you know, priorities. I know we've got herb runs to do, but priorities. I mean, look at that, man. What a beauty. What a great pet. I absolutely love this pet. It's just, it's, I, I'm not too fond of the uh, the Ziggy version, but yeah. Wanna see me run to that mountain and back? You wanna see me do it again? <laughs> That's just another reason why I love this pet. Anyway, so back to it. Here we are, 84 thieving, quickly followed by a relocation. Uh, we got ourselves up to just under 1.2 mil cash uh, from the RD Knights just before 85. So we're going to finish off 85 thieving here at the Master Farmers. Uh, we've been getting quite a lot of XP today. It's about 870k we've actually got today alone. Uh, so I'll do it a little bit before bed, but most of it will be tomorrow. Um, yeah. So we're going to smash this out and probably end up going doing some wood cutting as well tomorrow once we've hit 85 here. So as promised, here we are whenever we get a couple more logs. Uh, we did end up AFK in this. Master Farmers uh, not my favourite, so we got actually a couple of levels of wood cutting instead of doing Master Farmers just to procrastinate. But we got 75, which is magic trees, which we do need for desert treasure because I am not going back to Wintertop to get the logs. Uh, so in between thieving, we're now going to prioritize mining, getting that to 70. Uh, still going to work on our thieving a little bit, uh, because unlocking no fail master farmers will be huge later on down the line. Uh, but I've made this spreadsheet to keep track of what we've got. So it shows me how much we need, how much remaining XP, uh, how much is in the bag and how much is in the seed box approximately. 
So we should actually be able to keep a pretty accurate track. So let's get some more seeds. And yeah, here we are. Uh, like I said, I really am not a fan of Master Farmers, but this house north of Hasidius is pretty good. Uh, it gets stuck everywhere. Um, literally, you just have to follow it for about 10 seconds and you get stuck in this corner or any of the other corners. So it's quite nice here. Uh, especially when you've got noted food, you can just run down, unnote at the bank, cook them in the pub, and then run back up to here. Uh, doing pretty well on our herbs still. We've got ourselves an extra 90k since the last clip. That's how much I've been procrastinating master farmers. But yeah, Springo is about to start just in time as well because we have thieved enough. Actually, we've thieved more than enough because we overshot it by about 144,000 extra XP. So it means we won't need to farm. I think we've got like an extra 100 Guam and Marantil seeds that we won't actually have to do, which... Yeah, when you see the method, you'll understand why I'm so happy about that. So came on down to obviously try and do a little bit of mining here at Motherload. Uh, got ourselves 12 nuggets and decided it's not for me. So I'm going to just get enough to get the boots. And then I'm going to just power mine iron. This, I really don't like the way UIMs have to do Motherload mine. We'll do it eventually, but it, it's not for me right now. With that done, I thought it, you know, I may as well show a quick example of the herbs run that we do. Uh, so it's mostly the same as everybody else's in the world. So it's Ardy into Catherby, uh, catching whatever implants on the way because I can't help myself. Teleport to Draenor with the glory in the house. Then outside the house for the one in Hercidius. Don't know why I was catching that. Ectophile all the way over to Mauritania. And then we scoot on down to this little fairy ring to go to CIR and the farming guild and that's the entire run then we'll just teleport back to where we're going uh, we are still collecting secondaries so you will you may see a couple of clips of me grabbing snape grass uh, otherwise secondary wise we're not too bad on at the minute farmable wise anyway and then once the run's done we'll just head over to ferox enclave and stash our herbs there uh, so 73 farming is one of the only real farming levels we get during this grind uh, and there's our first herb law level, just from cleaning. So UIM Springo starts in about four hours time. Uh, I don't have long because that's about 1 a.m. our time that it starts, but you can do a six hour XP into it. Uh, so we are gonna try and get as much XP as we can to help the team out because I'm about to go on a stag do uh, f until Monday night. So I won't be able to do much for the team. I'll be doing herb runs while we're there, probably a bit of mining uh, just in the downtime while we're all sat being hungover. Uh, but this will be how we do the thieving. So we'll unnote at the bank, cook our tuners or whatever here. There's 73 cooking. Don't worry, I won't be doing that this this episode, I swear. Uh, and then we'll run up and start thieving. Uh, shout out to you, I am Scythe, for popping a message. Hello. During our six hour, here we go. We hit 86 thieving. And not too long afterwards, we got ourselves 87. So pretty good six hour. I think we got ourselves just under 600k. It wasn't six hours long. It was, uh, I think I ended up doing about four and a bit hours uh, just because obviously I'm catching a flight tomorrow. Uh, so it's an early start. So you won't see much clips from over the weekend, but I'll do a little review of what we got when we're back. Uh, the goal is to just simply do as many herb runs as possible try and crack out at least all the extra seeds that we have in the herb box and then just be left with like guams marantils and maybe harolanders by the time we're back uh hopefully i'll be able to power mine our way to 70 over the weekend but i don't know how busy we're going to be so i don't know what we'll be doing i imagine i might not have time for that but we'll see you never know so we're back we had a good time uh well once we got there, we had a good time. Nearly died on the plane on the way there, but that's by the by. Uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful place, Prague. Uh, if you've never been and you can, I would go. It's super beautiful. Everywhere you look is just... All the buildings are really nice to look at. And uh, yeah, it's cheaper to get yourself two beers than it is to get a bottle of water. So great place for a stag do, if anyone's thinking. Uh, we got ourselves a crap ton of herb runs done. So... You'll see there's a, a couple of double stacks in there as well that are still grimy that we'll need to get out and clean. Uh, but we'll do that later on. That's just uh, what happened. So, yeah, herbal wise you know, we've not got a lot left to do. But here is something 
that I did leave myself to get on camera. Anyone now? Boom. There it is, 70 mining. Another one of our requirements for Song of the Elves boxed off, ready to go. So I think the only thing we've got now, apart from questing, is just 70 herblore. So it's about time we start cracking on. Anyway, we've got a death pile here uh, just to resupply and get stuff. And I thought, you know what? We might as well uh, might as well live a little. So we came up to Varrock, bought ourselves some runes, bought ourselves a fire staff, headed up over and deposited our cash because you don't want to be running around in the wilderness with that. And we actually came and boxed off Major Arena 1. Uh, now, my cojones aren't big enough to box off Major Arena 2, and I don't think my level's big enough to box off the second one yet. Uh, but yeah, we got the first one done just to get a cape so that when Song of the Elves comes around, you know, we, we've got Major Arena 1 cape, which is better than nothing. So... Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Obviously, we've got protections, prayers. Uh, we had no prayer pots, so we were just one tick flicking, but it was absolutely no difficulty. Grabbed all three in the hopes that we could pop them in the house uh, and got ourselves a genie, which we put on herb on naturally. So it does turn out that you can put them in the house. And I thought, while I've got extra runes, going to grab myself a looting bag while we're here if we lose it we can just run back up and get it so we'll pop them all in and what we're going to do is get our grimy herbs out here we're going to go and clean them and note them and now we're trying to think of the best place to do this i'll show you in a minute uh but let's put these capes away first boom 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 uh yes that's done i don't know whether we'll actually bother going for the majorina 2 for the fight itself it's a lot of blood runes a lot of extra money a lot of extra time uh, and if we're rushing to prif anyway i don't think we need it realistically I, I don't think we need it our priority is mainly going to be getting up from using the 68 and 70 spell blood burst and ice burst to blood blitz and ice blitz that will be the biggest biggest change for us so you could argue that the blood runes and the casting might be good training but there's better ways than that so let's head over and clean these herbs anyway. So we've got a nice stack to look at. And this is where we're going to do it. Uh, just in case anyone's not got access to the higher tier farming guild and want a nice bank close to a tool leprechaun, uh, this one over in Hasidious Vineyard, where you grow the grapes from Tithe Farm, is pretty close. Uh, you do end up walking, so it's it's not as good as the high tier farming guild. But, you know, it's, it's not bad. It does the job. So we'll clean all these and then we will get back to probably a bit more thieving because we're in the middle of bingo now and there is a thieving tile. Uh, oh, 50 herbal. Didn't see that coming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll clean these and then we'll set ourselves up for herb runs and then thieving in the meantime. We might get bored and do some else later on uh, in between herb runs, but it's really just a waiting game now until we actually get to the point where we are ready to go. Uh, so let's bag these. Look at that now. That is a juicy stack of herb bar. Mm -mm -mm. And look at all them prayer potions, man. Just waiting. Literally, like, what's that going to turn into? Like 600 prayer pots, maybe? Oh, bubba. So yeah, there's a lot of bag dicks for you. The worst ones, them toad flaxes. Uh, we'll be making the fishing potions that need the toad legs for them. So that's going to be a bit gross. Uh, but the rest of them, super easy to get the secondaries for more often than not. You know, it won't take us that long maybe like an hour to grab the secondaries uh we also planted a poison ivy bush uh just thinking down the line it's always good to have this here because this is how i get to brimhaven so if we ever get any calquat trees and we want to plant one we can just simply pick the poison ivy, ivy berries from here note them or not note them and go and plant and protect our calquat tree over at brimhaven so you know big brain plays and it is a hard task so knock that out so our focus, like I said, is to get the magic levels in between herb lore runs and thieving to get the money. So this is where we'll be doing our magic training. I don't know how much we'll exactly do here, but it is absolutely beautiful XP. I think it turns out to about 140k an hour when it's done efficiently. Obviously, we'll be doing a herb run every hour or so, so it's not going to be. Um, but I bought a couple thousand nature runes just to do a few runs anyway, just to get us up a couple levels. But look at this XP drop. As soon as you place them in, boom, 20k XP on top of all of the alks that you've done. So it's just bonus XP. 
So it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and just in case you didn't see it, here's another one. Boom. It's so good. I'll never get bored of seeing it. But that is 74 magic. So we're getting up there. Getting up there. Uh, it's been a few hours. Uh, there's 75 magic. So, well, it's not been a few hours. It's been like one hour. Uh, we're slowly using up these nature runes. Uh, not got too many left, but we can now equip a trident. That's nice. Uh, yeah, we've not got too many left now to use. So I think we'll probably do one more run of this. Uh, and then leave it until we're really, really bored. Because I do want to get into some thieving for the UIM bingo. Um, so yeah, there, there's one more. Let's do one more run of it. Just use up these nature runes and then get back to some thieving content. Best content. We are back a few farm runs later. Uh, and this is getting us 88 thieving. Still a few more levels to come this episode. But we do have another plan to go and crack on with. Uh, so the plan is to make ourselves a use short bow. However, as we're not quite 65, where is it? 65. What we're going to do is we're going to get our cat out of the house. And we're going to try and stew boost it. Uh, we'll go and get the flax and spin it into a bowstring first, just so we're not messing about running all over the map. Uh, there is a way that you can get a U short bow drop from Angry Barbarian Spirits, same place we got our Myth Grapples, but that takes a lot more effort. So we're going to try this first uh, and see how we get on. So yeah, it only took us a few stew boost to get the actual boost itself. Uh, obviously, it was only like three levels, so we weren't expecting to be here all day. So let's continue our plan. I know I've not said it yet, but we're going to get, knock out the Temple of Ikov while we are farming, because obviously you need 20 limp work roots, unnoted, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, but we got him, we finished the quest without any major issues. Uh, so yeah. Bit of range XP, bit of Fletch XP, but it's one of the main requirements for Song of the Elves. So that is done and out of the way. And we're going to keep this U short bow as well. So we'll probably use that during the quest. While we're in a questing mood, here is Fremi Trials. This one is turned out to be more annoying than I thought it would be. Because uh, obviously you can't have any items equipped when you go and fight the Deathless dude underneath. And you can't have any for the Peer the Seer one. I think it's Peer the Seer. One of them you can't have any items. So... Yeah, we tried killing Lanzig, which is what I've always done. And then we, we just went and did the, the way you make it. And it took like two minutes. I don't know why I've ever bothered killing Lanzig before in my life. Because it takes longer to hot worlds and kill him. Anyway, quest done. Completed. Again, it was annoying to have to death pile and run about. But the fight wasn't difficult. Just got three rounds with protect from melee on. And then died. So, you know, chilling. Chilling. Got a few juicy levels from it. And now back to everyone else's favorite content. It's not just mine. Uh, 89th even. So, pogging off. Uh, we've got a little bit left to go in Springo. So, we're going to keep on. And by keep on, you can see the private messages are still the same. So, I've smashed it. 90th even. And once we plant this last seed here and nip back over to Ardy. Uh, this is actually the last, well, not the last because we need one for the quest, but that's the last of our Cadentines, which uh, brings us down to two seeds left to, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so we've got only Guams and Marantils left to actually do herb runs with now. Uh, so calculations wise, we need about 2k of each herb, something like that, to do the Guam Marantil vials from Lunar Diplomacy. So we've still got a long, long time to go on this. There's about 80 about 80 90 farm runs and yeah so here we go another level coming at you uh, i think this is the same day as 89 and 90 so it's been a long long day but we're trying to make up for the time we lost from going away uh, i've been sick this week as well so have not really had much else to do so yeah lots and lots of thieving lots of foot pedaling it's like the third time today we have seen the four hour uh, message in our chat box. It's just something so nice about foot pedaling. You don't have to look at the screen. It's like you don't even ever have to log out. So yeah, uh, thought we would be big brain by coming to Guardians of the Rift to get enough pearls for a death talisman for Morning Zen Part 2. 
uh we actually did get enough pearls to buy it but turns out you can't even buy a death talisman here until after you finish the quest so not great but we did get a few rune crafting levels out of it uh nothing else really to note some nice uh law runes which will keep us going on our farm runs but yeah it was, it, it was more than likely just a waste of time more than anything apart from maybe if we get something in this hard clue which is our first hard clue we've actually completed on the account uh had to kill one wizard but ooh, a bandos page and some alcohols so we've run over here ready to sell the alcohols that we were going to get anyway uh so let's sell them oh shit it now uh yeah so accidentally sold the page um dickhead man after my little mess up there i decided it just wasn't worth carrying on the account so here we are we're just gonna wipe get rid of everything because i'm obviously not cut out for this uh, but no, seriously, uh, we death piled our stuff so that we've got barely any space and we can just clean everything up because we're going to start by making some of the potions. I thought it's about time instead of just cracking on with thieving every time, we're going to start making some of our potions. So we're going to start with the juiciest ones, the nicest ones and get these run hours done. Uh, so first time ever doing this unnoting method at the GE, did mess it up a few times, getting the vials right and getting everything set up, still couldn't figure it out. Uh, but got a few levels. The one thing that did bug me is sometimes when you decant the potions, it puts it at the top of your inventory. Uh, for the prayer potions, it stopped doing it. But then when I moved on to, I think, Irits is when it started, or Qualms, or whatever I was doing. Uh, it just randomly put them in different places. So let's go get ourselves a looting bag just to pop these in and then crack on with the next potion. Uh, but yeah, we're already at 55 herbal or just from those. So very nice. Uh, so here's the Aventos. We are going to waste these Aventos, unfortunately. We can always go and get more. Uh, but we're going to make fishing potions uh, and just drop them. So it's a bit different of a method, but there's not really any point us keeping them for super energies when we can just come back and get them. Uh, that 57 right there is the requirement for Furry Tail Part 2. And then the, here's 58, which is a nice level. Because we can finally use the herb sack that we never bought. So if we ever go on a nice hunter grind uh, and want that, then we can go and get it for like herbivore and stuff. Uh, so we can now clean snapdragons with 59. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the snapdragons that I didn't expect to do yet. Uh, just once we finished all of our compost potions up. One of my favorite potions to make these compost potions. So I'm going to keep these. But yeah, there's 62. Now for the worst one, the toad flexes. Uh, so this was our method, as you can see in the background, up at the Swamp Toads over in the Gnome Stronghold. Uh, we'd run and make an inventory of unfinished potions, come and pick up the legs, make all the potions, drop them. Uh, and just after we finished, my friend was like, I hope you've kept one of them because you've not done Tybo One Eye Trio. Uh, so shout out to No Help, thank you very much. I'll put his uh, I'll put his YouTube up. He's got a Chunk Man series and a collection log, a maxed Iron Man collection log series. So go check him out if you've got time. Uh, but yeah, he told me to keep one of them and to do tie ball one eye. So that's what we're doing. We're going to run up here and get ourselves an iron spear. And then go and bash that out while we've got it. Because I do like a little bit of a questing detour. Everyone's seen the tie ball one eye quest. So here is just the start. Uh, the more awkward part of this quest for us was gathering the items first, like the monkey corpse and stuff, and yeah, but otherwise we had all the levels already, so we could burn, cook, whatever the Karam one, as much as we wanted to, so it wasn't an issue. Uh, but yeah, finished off, and noticed how close we were to, uh, 1500 total, so we actually went over to Letia, got ourselves this tree checked. And yeah, 75 farming and 1,500 total, which is pretty nice, pretty juicy for the account. I didn't think we'd make it this far, but yeah, look at us now. Anyway, back once again at the Grand Exchange. Uh, the only things we've got left now are our Guams and Married Tails. We've got a load of Pro Pots, a load of Attack Pots, a load of Compost Pots. Yeah, we're, we're pogging off in the Potion Department, so we're going to stick these Super Restores in the bag as well just over at the wildy ditch just here and then we're quickly going to get 40 defense over at the ammonite crabs as that is a requirement for ba -ba -ba, lunar diplomacy uh which we need to start and well 
do most of, to be honest, apart from the fighting bit. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So the reason we did that is so that we can make the Guam Marantil vials. So let's have a look what we get. 84 for the Guam and 84. So that's like 168 XP uh, for them two herbs. Now the downside is you can't empty. You can only destroy. So it's going to be a pain in the ass actually getting all the vials, filling them with water, adding the herbs in individually. But if we can get enough spaces, we should be able to get 20 or so and just use the bottom right hand corner and just pa 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 pa. So it, sh it shouldn't be the worst because it'll be nice XP, so it'll be worth doing. But you know, we'll see how, we get, how it is when we actually get all the herbs ready. A little bit of PTSD uh, coming over to the abyssal area. So we've actually gone to get the elemental runes. So there's the earth, the water. Uh, so this is for the part of the quest where you need to go to each elemental altar. So obviously I tried to be big brain before getting ourselves a death talisman. Uh, but yeah, it turns out that the hour I've just spent killing them little abyssal creatures, we didn't need to because I could have just come to Guardians of the Rift. Obviously I've just dropped the earth one outside. Let's see if it works. Boom, there it is. So it works. So we could have just come to Guardians of the Rift instead of bothering. Uh, the reason I didn't go through the abyss is because I am shit scared. Uh, safe spotted and got our last piece here. So this should be everything we need to get up to the step uh, We just need to go cash this in and cash We'll ha go and hand all the armor in anyway Because uh, we've not really got much bag space at all uh, Go get our tiara swapped over for whatever it is she gives us. I think it's the amulet uh, And then yeah, we should come back and be given the vials so the vials you can just use the kindling on and get an empty vial which is what we want uh and that should be it done so that's what we'll do let's test it so yeah so she can give us this here so use the kindling on it uh and then that gives us soaked kindling what she need what you need for the quest but we wanted the empty vial so we're going to store this for now uh just because it's not something that we need as we're not ready yet we've not got the herbs but with that done, we now do have access to the Lunar Staff instead of the Draman Staff, uh, which at first I thought, oh, it's, I, I won't be able to get and use until after the quest. But it turns out, once we've got it, we can just claim it back from the Anira Monster itself for 30k coins. Or if we die or want to drop it, we can just buy it from Purdue for 60k. And we've got plenty of money now. So that's pretty juicy in my eyes. Um, yeah, it's been a very productive episode. Uh, we've got a lot of herb runs done, a uh, few quests done. So literally all we have now, let me just pop our things on the screen. Uh, so yeah, all we have left now is Monizem Part 2, Desert Treasure, and Song of the Elves itself after we get ourselves another seven herb law levels. So we're only halfway in the herb law. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, thank you for watching. Sorry if I sound sick. I am sick. Uh, but yeah, stick around for the little sneak preview. It's a little longer than normal and I spent a bit of time on it. So I hope you enjoy that a little preview for next one. And yeah, I'll see you again in a week or so for the very last episode of this season. So thank you all for watching. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Catch you in the next one. See ya. Ice. Shadow. Smoke. Blood. I used to hear stories of great peace between the elven tribes. But that all changed when the Iorworth Worth warriors attacked. And when the world needed it most, I was ready. <laughs>